Hey, welcome to this Field of Glory Empires gameplay video. If you love the history of ancient empires, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Field of Glory Empires. I've been sitting here for a few minutes taking a quick review since it's been some days since I played, and it's really interesting. Quick look at diplomacy. We are at war with nobody, and we were actually getting really good numbers out of uh, the Boi and the Massilians. Um, not bad, Belgi, uh, Epirus, Galii, which are way over there, don't care. But what I'm really concerned about is the I do we are back. And they're building an army. Uh, and my guess is they're not happy with us. Well, zero. You know they're going to go for, uh, you, you just just know that they're going to go for uh, Tyrrhenia again. I think we'll end up building another army. Uh, right now we are set, turn this down a little bit, we are set to march on Dardardia. They are at war with everybody, so that's a good thing. Except that this might be somebody, somebody's idea of something they just got to have, too. That's a little bit scary. Um, I think we're going to need some ships over there. So let's split out. Oh, boy, I'm not getting good at this, am I? Some light ships. Uh couple of warships, a couple of Corvus warships, and give them a leader, Octavius, and send them around the corner to, where can they get to in one turn? That's two turns. They can get there in one turn. Got a small fleet here. We're going to need to make a move on the uh, independent region of Dalmatia or Istria and Dalmatia, and then declare war on the Dardani uh, at the same time. Uh, Dalmatia. They got a three with us. I think they're cooperating with us, but this could this could start getting them bent with us. The relations aren't awesome. So, what do you say we get started? We will take this guy. Actually, I'm tempted to split some of his guys out. Uh, hills. Frontage of eight. I'm tempted to split a few units out of here, like a maybe a legion and an ally, and uh, maybe a small, and march them. Well, as much as they're going to march, let's say to Pattis as a, a small garrison. And in Rome, we've got the money, we've got the people. This is going to be expensive. Um, one of each of those. And here, some heavy cavalry. It's going to cut into our money, and it will dink us for manpower. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. Meantime, these guys march on that independent province. And then we declare war 
on them to be ready to go after them next round. Which is probably not wise now that I think about it. Let's uh let's see how this settles out, whether we have a lot of sitting there to do before we uh, actually start stirring this part of the world up. Okay, we've gotten real happy over here. These guys have run back over here where there's some food. We are at peace with Carthage. Decisions. Seize light ships for 500. Uh, no, for 750. I think we're going to wait. I don't see any point in spending money on ships right now. Merchants, not so precious. Iron, sell metal. No, six. Well, we're making 100 a round. We make a little over a thousand gold. Yeah, sell metal. And it all looks good from there. How are we doing? Oh, we got some things to do. And Cisalpinus, Patus, four turns, three slots. Uh huh. Uh huh. I've already got a religious. A market is a lot of money. But they are sucking on culture. But that's, well, that's. Fortune teller is loyalty and money. Now, these guys can make more money as different trade goods become available. But this also gets us the ability to get different levels of, let's go with that, with culture building. So we can have the ability to pick, I think, level two culture buildings. Wrong click. Here we go. Tyrrhenia. Yes, we're worried about Tyrrhenia. Um, one slot growth in three turns. Charcoal pile. Irrigation system. They got a lot of food. And that would be nice eventually. But I think a free crafters district. That's uh, that's where we're going to go. Alright. Cisalpina is cool. What about these? Okay. One slot in Pisonum. That's a happy place right now. Growth in four turns, only one slot left. Bank, that increases. All right now we're getting decrease. Very slow, but a very de slow decrease in de decadence. I'm not, in not inclined to increase decadence. <clears throat> Aqueduct, food and health. Navigation system, branch, farm. Yeah, an aqueduct is, and that times out well with their growth. Okay. Let's see, Italia Inferior, okay. Two slots in Sicilia. We're starting to get the loyalty together. Oh, this is terrible. Wheelmaker, five hole, count them, five hole infrastructure. Uh, growth in eight turns. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Did that get all of them? All right, what else could we possibly have to do? We've moved our navy. We've made our move here. We're moving these guys over here. We're building another army to watch the northwest. Let's go. And processing. Well, there's our heavy cavalry popping up in uh, Liguria. Okay, here we got a fight. That's not even worth. That's not worth running. Smack. Oh my God! There's a gigantic change down here. We're gonna have to declare war on it. Should have declared war already. This is not good. 
This is not good. Yeah, I should have declared war last round. Every time you stick your nose out of your backyard, you start getting at everybody else's politics. Now oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Deification decree. Yes, that's worth the money. Well, we're going to declare war on them. Can't make the move until, and they may fall before we can get there. That would be depressing. Because that could put us at war with Macedonia. And that's a real live problem. A real live problem. Alright, what do we got going? Melita is in unrest. Uh, well, the garrison's helping, but there's still a 10% revolt risk there. Well, we'll make a move on them if we have to. Oh my god, we lost our leader. That's just getting better all the time here, isn't it? It's just getting better all the time. Uh, I think he's may not be the best leader we have. He's the best leader we have. We replace him with a good defensive leader. We jump up here and grab him. Hey, on. At least we don't have to use him this round. Uh, we need to march these guys to there. And these guys to there. And uh, the Navy needs to go there. Things got really complicated all of a sudden. How are we doing on loyalty? Yeah, there's where our big problem is. That's where our big problem is. And, nope. Just, just not a lot of joy there. Well, we do have an army nearby. In fact, we could, since we are at peace, send the army right now. We're having some real loyalty issues around here. What are our decisions? Done that. Yep, no hope, no joy. We conquered that, which is no help to us at all. Really? And we're building up that army. Not much of an army, but it is an army there, and it needs a leader. Yuck. Not a lot of fun. Throw him in there. What do we have to build? In Istria, well, things aren't going to be happy there anyway. Uh, really, come on. Okay, we'll build a farm. It'll take forever, basically. Uh, we can build, while we're here, public works, which is always helpful. And get back in here. Umbria. Umbria. Growth in one turn. Man. Deeds help. I think a farm is appropriate. Get that food rolling. Liguria. Hmm. Growth in two turns. It's a rich place. It's doing very, very well. Within two turns, three slots. 
got an orchard. Farm would be nice. Harbor would bring in manpower. I think we go for the farm. Um, I have made the mistake of not building enough food, as you probably have noticed. I'm, I get hung up on those green things. Arnas growth in five turns. Wow, making a lot of money in Arnas. A lot of this is really, really an amazing region. But loyalty is kind of sucking. Public baths. Nope, they don't really need. Well, that's interesting. Logistics Depot. Siege resistance is what it's about. Yuck, I don't like any of this. Temple is culture. That's nice. Fisheries, food, and money. Stables, wheel maker, everything here is just not very exciting. Not very exciting at all. And there's only what, three slots left. Can be upgraded to Major Temple. Was upgraded from our occult site. Well, in that case, it doesn't use a slot. We'll go for a temple. We just have to deal with the other issues later. I think that's what I see. Etruria. Oh, we just... Loyalty is just... We're going to have to start building noble districts and things like that. Wow, lots of infrastructure, money, and metal. And lots of infrastructure. A stadium... Ooh, it costs a fortune. Flax field. I still haven't seen. We still haven't seen you know, the irrigation canals. Archery. Tier 1 military building. Have not been building enough military buildings. Okay. Mostly because I can't think of anything else to do there. Open slot in Latium. One slot. Growth in five turns. Glassworks. No. Street parlor. Money and culture. A cheap building help you propagate common culture. Money and culture. Growth in five turns. Yeah, just not a lot of... Uh, looking good on equipment. Don't need a charcoal pile. Physician's house. Health of 10 would it help increase growth. Go for a physician's house. And Tiberius. Ugh, loyalty, loyalty. Whoo, look at that decadence reduction. And it's already got Papyrus close by for a big old three cost. It adds culture. Yeah, let's let's build a school. Yeah, we got an open slot in Harai. Oh, we're doing okay there, really. Uh, growth in seven turns, one slot left. Farm and a smokehouse, sanitation. All right, Decatur Square. I think so. 
Things are getting kind of kind of complicated. Let's go. Oh, we got there just in time to fight the rebels. No, we didn't. The rebels are attacking our garrison. Yeah, I think they're going to win, too. I think sending the army was wise. Wouldn't be surprised if Carthage has something to do with this. And I'm not sure who they're fighting there. Probably the garrison. They won. That's okay. Who are we fighting there? The Dardarni. And I was right. Look at this. They took... Oh my god, look at the size of that army. They took the place, sent them out, and we fought their navy for them. Isn't that nice? Well, we're going to have to rethink all of this. War with Macedon. An army that is a third larger than ours. More than a third. Woo-wee! Yep, I was one turn too slow. Yeah, but there are no... The Dardarni are down there now? Yeah. Um... No. Oh, good. Good, Massilia. Good. Oh, good. Everybody go after the Dardarni. <laughs> no, we're not selling any metal. You will not abandon the Dardarni to me. Okay. They're not ready to be a client state. And neither are they. Well, we got a tiny little army here, which would make this army over here actually roughly the same as that army over there. And that is Macedonia. Macedonia is at war with... Thracia. Darni and the Gittai. I don't care. In other words, this great big powerful nation... I don't even see them. Just because they're not high on the... Just because they're not high on legacy doesn't mean that they're not powerful. Well, things just got really complicated. Things just got really, really complicated. I'm excited about this. We're still making good money. We still got good... Uh, we can raise troops and we can afford it. It's... Um, I guess these guys can march over here to join them. It would be awkward if the Macedonians decided to attack us. So we'll send them that way. And the Idui are kind of neutral because they're at war with everybody. Belgai are at war with a lot of people, including the Idui. Okay, that's right. I don't want an alliance with them, even if they take it. Well, things just got kind of awkward. Okay, they'll get there next round. Um, we 
moves the navy there, although I don't think we'll need them. Italic rebels, italic rebels, italic rebels. Yep, the ID we raided us. And they raided us. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, well, we have to th sit here and think for a moment about what just might be the best way to approach this. Well, let's take a look at Dalmatia. Uh, they are at war with Illyria, but not with the Macedonians. Let's take a look at the Macedonians again. <sighs> Thracia. Yeah, they don't care. Dardarni, they're already angry at us. The Pyrrhus, they don't want an alliance. I don't see any short-term way of trying to balance these guys off here. That cooperation with them at a 3%, count it, 3% chance of cooperation. What if we send them a gift? 430 money, that's expensive, and it's not going to change them that much. I think we just have to prepare for war over here, and that's a pretty good start sending that, that army that way. It just leaves us really exposed on this end, and Carthage is going to light up any time now. It's fixing to get expensive to be Roman. All right. Yep, it's fixing to be expensive to be Roman. That just cost a fortune. Build another small army there. And I am not sanguine. I do not feel good about this. All right, let's run through this. Um, a tavern is good for loyalty and money, right? Oh, just money. Just money. Uh, wood cutting. Yeah, let's yeah, you know, let's do a little wood cutting there. Over here, one open slot in Amelia. <sighs> Growth in three turns, one slot left. Uh, harbor is nice. Stud. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Health and culture from a physician's house. Bonus of five culture from drugs and herbs. Yeah, let's go there. Pettis. City walls. Yeah, I think so. Worry about other things later. Right now, city walls looks like a good place to be. Oh, I've jumped down the other end of the world. Aternus. Growth in four turns. <laughs> Money and culture for a street parlor. Both in four turns, slots. Health and money for 10. Free supply per turn plus 20. Our usurer, usurer, usurer. God, I should be able to say that. That's very nice there. 
Builder Hall gets a lot of infrastructure. Let's go for a lot of infrastructure. Clannis. There's no clear water in Clannis. Preceptor House minus 0.4. That's the last one. They grow in five turns. Ugh. Let's knock the... It just, you know, take opportunities to knock down decadence where you can. Etruria. Noble District. Might have to go for it despite the fact that it's a really lousy decadence hit. Big loyalty bonus. I don't know. We don't need it right now, I don't think. Irrigation system. Can be upgraded to irrigation canals. Or a farm. Growth in four turns. 22. Go for a farm. To do Italia Inferior Apulia Slave Workforce. Wow, that's tempting, isn't it? Minus point two right now. It would go up to plus point one. Large farm. Why is it so slow? Are we oh god, no wonder. Look at the way this is balanced out. This is insane. Insane. Yeah, it's not going to, you know. Hey, guess what? Things get built quicker when you have positive infrastructure. <sighs> they throw this at me. So tempting. Just when I'm starting to pull the decadence down in a place that it has... Mm, mm, mm. School. Let's kick that decadence in the head. School. Two open slots in Brutium. Lots of low yield. Wells, growth in three turns, two spare slots. Wells, Lord, it's just not easy to balance this stuff. Oh, looks good. What are we missing? Not a thing. We looked at decisions. All right, we had the deification decree. We're still way positive there. May need to do some stuff to get money up from the... May need to change some things toward money. Take down some of that, kick some of that up. All right, those guys are going there. We're raising armies. Tiny little thing, but we're raising some forces there. I really like them. Raise me a couple of those. And let's go. We gotta go square away Melita. And maybe something will change on the east coast of the Adriatic to. Uh, Uh, encourage encourage us in our desire to dominate that side of the Adriatic wow okay you won't do so well this time this guy's got some real good troops but not good enough
fun, 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 fun. And so much for that rebellion. Dropping here, we're just sitting pretty much in the same spot over here, except that Macedonia is hot on our heels. The Belgi. Belgi want an alliance? They're not at war with anybody. That doesn't mean they won't get that way. Ah. Let's agree to that. That ought to help hold down that end of the world. Exploration of the forlorn land of Skaga. Yeah, we can't get there because we're not wherever it is. Slave markets. Yeah, we're definitely selling slaves. There are places I know that are having problems. All right, we took Melita. Large walls and eight has been destroyed. Volcanoes are a pain. Population down. Right. Right. That can't be doing us any good. Well. Yeah. Okay. Boo. <laughs> this army is moving in. Macedonia has got that still. Macedonia is at war with Dacia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And Dardani, that's a client state. They're at war with a bunch of people that don't much matter. This army doesn't have a general. That army's got the one good general we have. We've raised a small force here that is going to march again to Patus. They're going to go there. I did raise some additional dweebs there. And we're going to send them Patus. Those slingers, you gotta love that. Alright, we've made our decisions. We've done some diplomacy. Let's take a quick look here. Seven slots in Subria. Cult site. We have a religious site. Wow. May take a slot, but that's a lot of food. We're going for a farm. Turinia. What are we going to do in Turinia? Courthouse would be nice and expensive. This is Sawmill Infrastructure 11. Hmm. Well, farm would bring a lot of growth. Growth in four turns. All right. Punched up a little money. That's good. Man, we've got three slots open in Italia Superior. 
And our preceptor house is at least keeping that under control. It's not reducing it because the decadence per term for the nation size is so bad. Oh, look at that. A school. Yeah, pop a school in there. Churia. Scriptorum. Shipyard. 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 Lots of equipment. Wow, that is pretty nice. Growth in three turns. Slipways for worship construction reduced. Da, 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 da. All right. Gladium, one slot. Growth in three. Miserable, miserable decadence. Hospital. Oof, look at the cost. It's because of the trading required. Oh, growth in three. Shepherd's house. Coastal fortress will take ten. Lord. Trade center money, 59, but decadence increase is insane. And a theater. <laughs> Really, infrastructure sucking here. Go for a wheel maker. Italia inferior, looking good. Cecilia got six open slots in Melita. And they are not happy there. Loyalty bonus from a pleasure house. Ah. Palisade. Build a palisade. I don't think there's anything the army can do. No, build a camp. We're going to starve this place out. Yeah, pretty much going to starve it out in short order. Um... We need to split out a couple of guys. We're gonna need to we're gonna need some this crowd's gonna need some balancing. We're gonna need some more slingers. And uh oops, didn't do that right. Well, I'm still not getting it right. Three? Yeah, fine. Split. Garrison. Then march to there. Build some slingers. We are spending money on armies. We did take care of all our decisions. Yes, we did. This army gets here, off we go. Whoa, I need to get that navy out of there. It's suffering off the coast. I'm not paying attention. Got to do something about that. I have this nasty feeling that Carthage is going to declare on us, and I probably ought to be. Macedonia has passed us in legacy. Ugh. All right, we're in alliance with the Bell guy. Epirus wants an alliance. They are only at war. You know what? That's not a bad idea, given...
But wait a minute. Heart war with Illyria. That could drag us into war with Macedonia. Let's agree. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's great. Now that we have to go fight the Idui. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to get stupid with Carthage before I can pull anything off. Uh, I know I built some more light troops down here. March to there. Get some more Quelites. We lost a leader. Merge. Yeah. Guess what? We just have we're just we're just running out of really good leaders. That's a tiny little army there. say we have those guys go there those guys follow them this army is big and bad these guys are feeling stupid sitting off the coast they're at war with a lot of people they're kind of rugged. I've received a progress token. Well, that's nice. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. That's just not easy to fix. Just not easy to fix. All right, we march there to prevent the Idui from taking Tyrrhenia. Hopefully. And do we get froggy? Macedonia has formed the Illyria province. Wall level, front edge eight. It's rough terrain. Hmm. Really, the question is, if we attack them, what will happen with Carthage? Probably need to build more. We're going to seize light ships. It's going to cost 750 to do it. Eight light ships, four medium ships. Or I could just build the damn things. Uh, One light ship cost 20. It's cheaper just to build them. It's cheaper just to build them. Now, these things cost a wee bit more. Build a couple of heavies. Start worrying about manpower. We're going to have to put a navy over here that counts. Let's put them over there and assemble the navy. Let's check this out. 
one open slot in Provencia. Amazing. Amazing how good the loyalty is in a place like that. A harbor. Okay, in Cisalpina. Liguria. Furnace. That would be good because it gets us a third commerce building. Let's do that. Potus. Trading post. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Again, starting to worry about money again. Two open slots in Arnus. Growth in three turns. A fair. That is so much money. Uh, Aternus. Worship place. Growth in three turns. Two slots left. Wells or wash house. Or do we go for the third commerce? Yeah, I think we go for the third commerce building. Tiberius. Temple. Mm -hmm. I'm just clicking the wrong thing left and right. Aqueduct. Food and health. Okay. That works out nicely. Five turns of growth, six turns to build. Campania. Boy, we could use some decadence reduction there. And we're not going to get it. Trade port. Decadence increase goes through the roof. Yeah, that's nice. Seven turns. Uh, hemp field sucks, but it's better than no food. Let's pop some in there. Lacania. Oration Tribune. Growth in three. Yeah, let's get another culture building in there. Cecilia, Etna, yeah, she is in just deep doo doo. No, no, no. All right, we'll go for a free slot. Quick glance here. Everybody's on the move, things are on the build. Go. And some of our navy popped up over in Tarentum. Fixing to get exciting on the east side of the Adriatic. We've got new alliances over there. I don't know how we stay out of the mess. I'm just glad we've got a really big army standing by looking to take the opportunity to strike when it makes sense. Uh, this has gotten difficult. All right, that's cool. Can't do any expeditions when you can't get to them. Okay. This navy up here. Merge here. Oh, we've got a decent leader.
and send them around the corner to there. guys have gone independent boy you're having a hard time keeping this all under control that's very expensive long wall specific to Rome is a decent fortress in particular it provides for better or worse a large front as you're an assault it can be created by a legion unit in the field for a large sum of money yes it can so it gets us the big frontage that our big armies like unfortunately I don't have a big army I think we'll wait. Uh, we will merge with those guys for right now. And I don't want you being a garrison. Exit. No, nobody wants to be a client state. Everybody wants to be an ally. Nobody wants to be a client state. Now I don't want to spend money on them right now. Well, it's coming together. Still positive, but only just. Looks good. Let's do this. One open slot in Provincia. Coastal market is always nice. Receptor House. Huh. Takes forever. Growth in two turns. Yeah, we'll go for it. I'm not sure that's smart, but we'll go for it. Six open slots in Insubria. Within four. Let's go for the third commerce building. Two open slots in Umbria. And uh, pottery. Fortune tellers, money, fate, loyalty bonus. Growth in two. Let's go for a third culture building. And Melita, we still having big time loyalty issues. Tavern doesn't help that. Things are really nasty here right now. Let's go for walls. And in Cecilia. Fishery could be the third commerce building. Clay pit could be the fishery because it provides food. All right. Everybody's lined up. Oh, we do have a little, a little bit more navy there. That's right. Send them around the corner. Well, I think everybody's pretty much in position. This has been kind of quiet because of my, oh, uh, maybe it was a mistake, maybe it wasn't. It certainly meant I couldn't seize, uh, I couldn't seize uh, Illyricum when I wanted to. It's kind of a, uh, kind of been a make and mend, <laughs> get it back together. But there you go. Here we are right at about an hour. I think it's going to break down. We're going to end up in war in the east. Uh, hopefully the alliance is over here. We'll keep that from getting too stupid. Although Massilia is looking. Well, they're looking about the same. But I think Carthage is going to get froggy soon. We've got to be ready for that. So. Yeah. This is just fascinating. There you go. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed playing, and I will see you again real soon.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of very young was, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.